question 16. So this one asks, describe a method for determining whether three points P, Q, and R lie on the same plane or same line. Then part B says, describe a method of determining whether four points P, Q, R, and S lie in the same plane. So here, describe a method of determining, yeah, three points. Let's look at solution to A. To determine whether three points lie on the same line, we could take the cross product of the position vectors P, Q, and P, R. So uh, in this case, we have P, Q, and R. If you take the cross product of them, if the cross product is zero, then the position vectors are parallel, hence the points P, Q, and R lie on the same line. Here's the notes from our uh, the early ones I screenshotted. So if the angle uh, theta between A and B, if theta is the angle between A and B, uh, where uh, theta is between uh, pi and zero, then the, the length of cross product A cross B is equal to length of A uh, times length B times sine theta, and using the right-hand rule for the direction. Yeah, this is going to be a uh, uh, this is going to be uh, perpendicular to these right here, but it's if it's zero, if these are parallel, so if these are if b is on this, it's going to be zero. They are the zero vector, you could do zero vector like that. So the magnitude is zero, has no direction. Uh, right hand rule gives a direction of a cross b. So for example, yeah, to illustrate this, uh, I will draw this out. So what I'll, let's say we have like this. This is going to be our z. And let's say we had, that's our z, this is our y, and I'll uh, fix this up a bit. This is going to be our y, and this is going to be our x uh, axis like that, is the origin. So let's say we had a point here, p, like that, and let's say we had a point q, so we'll draw it on one line to illustrate. So this is q, and this is r. So then this length right here, this is position vector p, q, I'll put it on top, actually. Actually, I'll put it on below. Yeah, that was good there. And this is, let's say this is P, Q, like that. And the next one, I'm going to draw this in red. And let's draw this in red. Okay. So let's say we had now from, uh, yeah, from P, like that. Uh, here, actually, just uh, move this over so it's actually in line. So we have from here to here, this is PR, like that. So if it's parallel, yeah, so from there to there, if it's parallel, then the cross product, the angle's zero. Yeah, so then the cross product uh, would be perpendicular, right? Uh, except it would be zero. So it will, we'll have PQ cross PR. Uh, PR is equal to zero, is the angle zero. This equals to the zero vector. Yeah, so that, that's going to be zero. So the angle is actually zero. So you're, you're just going to have like this and this. PQ, PR, like that. Yeah, so the angle is, is zero between them. So in other words, they're parallel. <laughs> so, so this is going to be zero. If it's uh, so if cross product is zero, then the position vectors are parallel, hence the points P, Q, and R are on the same line. Yeah, so they're all exactly on the same line, like this. Whoops. Like this. So they're all on the same line. So yes, I'll just erase that. So epic stuff.